So hey guys, yeah, what we're playing today is a quick game on, a new game came out yesterday or the day before called Bullet Run. It's a game by Sony Online Entertainment, a free-to-play FPS, uh, with a bit of a difference if you like. Um, it does have a subscription service as well, um, should you choose to go that route, it's $14.99 a month I believe. I'm not quite sure what that equates to just yet in, uh, uh, in UK pounds, but I'll, I'll try and find out. Essentially the premise of this game is it's set in the near future and you as a contestant in the game and all the other players are contestants in a reality show. And the purpose of the reality show is to excite the fans. So kills you get, um, build up build up heat points as it's called in the game, but not just that, if you taunt other players um, and get exciting kills, these build up heat points. Heat points then unlock um, uh, awards that you can, you can unlock. Um, so that's basically the premise of the game. Um, there is a little bit of character customization. Right at the beginning you're only asked a few basic things. Uh, you're asked your sex to pick sort of six body types and uh, also a skin tone. But as you get into the game you can then customize your character a bit more in depth, uh, changing hairstyles and things like that. Um, and you can also um, change your weapons and, and get different weapons based on you know ranking up, ranking up in the game. Now, I, I was fully expecting this game to be bad. Um, I, I wasn't really particularly disappointed. Um, it's not the best game you're ever going to play. It was alright for a little go, but I genuinely can't see me going back to it. Um, there's a couple of things in there that are, are quite useful. They've got the af active reload system, which if you're familiar with Gears of War, um, you'll know about. Essentially, uh, I'll probably sh it'll probably come up on the screen in a second. There we go. I didn't do it, but there's a little white dot there. If you uh, get your reload in the, uh, in the white dot, then your reload is faster. If you don't, then your, your reload is slower because the gun jams. Um, or you don't have to attempt it at all if you don't want to. So, that's a, a good little feature. Other than that, there's, for me, the the reality show theme is a bit of a gimmick. There's nothing really that sets this game apart from, from anything else, and I really genuinely don't see why that many people would, would pick it up. Obviously, it's free, so that's useful. But I think when Planet Side 2 comes out, um, I know this is nothing like Planet Side 2. The game can't really be compared because they're, they're not really not even similar. But for Sony Online Entertainment and a brand to release this sort of game, I'm not entirely sure how much of a, a base this, this game will get competed with all the others. Sort of Battlefield card, Planet Side 2, when that comes out, because that's another free to play game. I don't see this being worthwhile, to be perfectly honest. But that remains to be seen. There is a lot of weapons in the game, um, and you can customize your weapon. You can add silencers, muzzle brakes, uh, scopes, stocks. Um, and you can do that on the customize, customize scheme as well. Um, but going back a little bit to the character customization, they refer to the character customization as vanity. So essentially, it goes back to this premise that you're in a reality show, so you're trying to you know make your character look as cool as you like, if, you know, and better than everybody else. You're looking to taunt to their opponents, um, and, and that's exactly what you're trying to do. Um, I'm fapping about with my controls, trying to get the knife out, and that clearly didn't work. Um, the one problem I did encounter with this game, and I'm going to go into it a little bit now. When I tried to play it yesterday, it really, really didn't work. Um, it literally was just wouldn't connect. It took me 20 minutes to even log into the game and I got so frustrated with it I gave up. I thought I'd give it a quick go today to see if it worked. Um, it did. If it wouldn't have worked I would have uninstalled it because that's how frustrated I was with it yesterday. The It's just the initial menu screen seems to be a little bit clunky in my opinion. Um, it logged in fine today so maybe that was just a problem with it yesterday. But even today when trying to find a game um, I was just clicking on a lobby uh, uh, clicking on a quick match. I'll show you now. If I clicked on Team Deathmatch, essentially what would happen is I would just get game disconnected. Game disconnected. Cannot find server. Server is full. Just error upon error upon error before it finally found the game. And I, I found that a bit frustrating. But anyway, it is a free to play game. So if somebody wants, you know, likes the look of it and, um, you know, wants, wants a crack at it, just head over to the Sony Online Entertainment website and, and download it and give it a go.